and we're back this time i'm going to show you how to create a picture and picture zoom effect in premiere pro i've got this little image right here in the project menu i'll put it in the timeline don't worry about that it's wet we need to render it later on i'll put a copy of that image in the second video channel now let's make the second one invisible and we will work on the first one Let's go to around one second and create an animation for the opacity. Let us go to around four and a half seconds, create a second keyframe and we will turn down the opacity here, maybe to 30%. So what is happening with this V1 channel? You've got it under a full opacity, so it's 100% and then the animation starts after a second and it gradually decreases the opacity up to 30% at around 4.5 seconds. Let's make our copy visible, the V2 channel, and we will add an animation at the position. The first keyframe is already added. Let's jump to the second keyframe of the opacity, create a keyframe there as well for the position. We haven't created an animation yet. Let us go to effects and crop. Drag and drop the crop under video effects and transform onto your V2 file. And now we've got it under effect controls. And we'll crop the image at first the left side. And top to bottom a little bit right to left should be fine maybe two percent and a little bit bottom upwards that should be fine so what we now have here is we've just cropped the copy and it's completely cropped so not just for the time of the animation, it's for the full running time, the full duration of that file. And now we'll reposition it, but we need to reposition it on the last keyframe. So I'll jump to that and I'll center it. Maybe up to here, that should be fine. So the cropped image now moves from the bottom right to the center position upwards and to the left thanks to our position animation and if we make the v1 channel visible again you can see that at the same time as the v2 cropped image moves the opacity of the background image is decreased now let us scale our cropped image up a little bit we will use the same keyframes once more and we'll make that 150 percent and now we need to readjust the position and that should be fine for our example here so the crop image now moves to the left and upwards and at the same time it is scaled up around 50 percent and if we make the v1 channel visible again we can see that the background image gets opaque now we need to render it, go to sequence and render into out. Depending on the speed of your CPU, it takes some time. But now your bar is green and everything's fine. You can work with that now. And this is how you can create these picture-in-picture -picture zoom effects in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.